Do you want an answer to any of your question? Do you want to write an article on any topic? Do you want to compose a poem? Do you need a short moral story? Do you want to debug your code? Do you want to create a website or do you want to write a letter to your boss asking for Christmas time off? Yes, ChatGPT can help you do all these things plus much more. In this video, I'll provide an overview of ChatGPT and do follow the series and playlist for some interesting use cases of ChatGPT in my next videos. The AI chatbot ChatGPT is the latest sensation in the technological world that is taking the internet by storm and is making headlines for its astonishing capabilities. The AI bot has been trending on Twitter and has amazed over a million users within five days of its launch. Whoa! ChatGPT is OpenAI's brainchild. OpenAI is a San Francisco-based artificial intelligence research startup organization whose mission is to create an AI system that is safe and beneficial. The chatbot understands natural language and responds in a human-like manner. It is based on GPT 3.5, which is a language model. GPT here stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. To access ChatGPT, go to Google and type ChatGPT. Click on the first link that is from the website OpenAI. Once you see the landing page, click on the button which says Try ChatGPT. After few security checks, you will be navigated to the registration page. If you haven't registered yet, please click on the Sign Up button. You will now be navigated to Sign Up page. You can sign up either with your email address, a Gmail account or a Microsoft account. In this case, I will choose to go with Google account. Once you see the Google account page, enter your Gmail ID and click on next and then enter your password and click on next. Once the authentication is successful, you will have to enter your first name and last name and click continue. And then enter a valid mobile number and verify the number using the one time password sent through SMS. Now you should be successfully registered and should see the home page of ChatGPT. In this research preview, ChatGPT is open to anyone to try out for free in the hope that the user feedback will reveal its blind spots and help fine tune its moderation system. And remember not to enter any sensitive information as the data you enter will be reviewed by the AI trainers to improve the systems. To encourage users to submit feedback, you can enter the ChatGPT feedback contest for a chance to win $500 in API credits. Now that you're in the homepage of ChatGPT, let us see some examples. Let's make it funny. I'll ask the ChatGPT to compose a poem for my girlfriend. Let's see if the bot can write it for me. Yeah, that's writing it for me. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm lucky to have a girlfriend like you. Wow. With every beat of my heart, I'll hold you close and never part. With every breath I take, I'll promise to love and never break. This is amazing. Now let me ask the bot to write me an article on inspiration. Here we go, it has started writing. Inspiration is a powerful force that can drive us to achieve great things. Okay, yeah, it looks so good so far and it is writing all the sentences grammatically right. This is amazing. Okay, it does write a conclusion as well. This is definitely an inspiring article. Wow, it was amazing. A lot more examples in my next video. Now that we have seen the examples, the question that may arise is, will ChatGPT replace Google as an answer engine? 
It can be helpful to ask questions to a computer and receive prompt responses. And ChatGPT does exactly that. Google typically provides users with links to websites it considers to be relevant as well as its own proposed answers to user enquiries. Often, ChatGPT responses surpass Google's recommendations as it uses the latest well-trained AI algorithms. Having tested ChatGPT, I have to agree that the fear of search being replaced with a chatbot may be true. The technology still has a long way to go, but it's possible to envision a hybrid search and chatbot future for search. However, before trusting ChatGPT responses, users should confirm the information from authentic sources. Verifying the accuracy of ChatGPT answers takes effort because, unlike Google, it uses raw text without any links or citations. ChatGPT is specifically programmed not to provide toxic or harmful responses, so it will avoid answering those kind of questions. An important limitation of ChatGPT is that the quality of the output depends on the quality of the input. In other words, expert directions generate better answers. Another limitation is that because it is trained to provide answers that feel right to humans, the answers can trick humans that the output is correct. Many users discovered that ChatGPT can provide incorrect answers, including some that are wildly incorrect. Stack Overflow was flooded with user responses generated from ChatGPT that appeared to be correct, but a great many were wrong answers. The thousands of answers overwhelmed the volunteer moderator team, prompting the administrators to enact a ban against any users who post answers generated from ChatGPT. These limitations are predictable and after all, even humans make mistakes. Please subscribe to watch my next video with live usage of ChatGPT to perform some of the interesting queries and to understand the use cases better. Thank you for watching.